A proposal to make Buckhead its own city cleared another hurdle today, but tonight it is also raising new questions about how it could affect projects and plans for the rest of Atlanta, including that controversial public safety training site. Doug Richards is taking a closer look. Buckhead City could strip from the city of Atlanta valuable properties like Chastain Park. It could also shut down construction on a law enforcement training center about 10 miles southeast of here. Many residents who have worked to separate Atlanta's Buckhead neighborhood into its own city cite as a reason Atlanta's growing rate of violent crime. Oh, I'm sorry, but yes, critics yes, point to me. details in the legislation that would require Atlanta to divide and sell its property assets outside the city, including the sprawling wooded site in South DeKalb slated for a state-of-the-art public safety training center. You have proponents of this bill saying that uh, Atlanta needs more public safety, and, and, th and those same proponents are, are, have drafted a bill that would prevent the city of Atlanta from building a public safety training facility. The training center site, derided by critics as Cop City, would be one of many city of Atlanta properties that could shift ownership if Buckhead City is approved. A Senate committee advanced the bill today, the bill sponsor saying Buckhead residents deserve a chance to vote on it themselves. Elected officials forget who they work for. So when movements happen that remind elected officials who the real bosses are, then I have to support that. If the legislature and voters here were to approve Buckhead City, it wouldn't necessarily kill Atlanta's public safety training center project, but critics say the delay could go on for months or longer. In Buckhead, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. All right.